Hey guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a counter circuit within the multisim. This counter circuit is a very basic and simple. It can be used to detect any sort of sensor input or any sort of clock pulse or any digital input and it can count e1 even in industry we can use it for to count several things for it first we need to go to our sources and then there is an option for miscellaneous digital objects here we have to search for our counter now we need counter for a and there is mentioned decimal okay so you need to take it out okay now this is our counter circuit which is a built-in part of the multisim after it we need to take our output and for it we need our dcd hexadecimal display okay now this is hexadecimal display we need to connect it like that and like that and and like that okay okay now clear pin must be connected with the ground in order to make it properly working so clear pin is, is with ground now the pulse will be given the pulse positive edge will be given on the in pin when there is any sort of positive edge our counter will detect and will show the corresponding number on the count number on the this display that is hexadecimal uh, seven segment display now we need to take our dip switch go to basic and then click on switch so here is our dip switch now dc power okay now we need to run it but one thing that we have to decrease the voltage out now we will see that either it, it is going to work or not so first when there isn't any sort of clock pulse or we can say no data from the sensor or input so it is zero when we will give first okay so it, it it used to work on a falling edge why it is so because uh, there is a little bubble you can see the inverter sign so now it is positive edge now it is falling edge so it is two three and four so it is counting manual switch means that when five volt used to come and go it used to detect so it is up to nine after nine it is going to reset it value so hopefully you got this simple concept that how you can make a counter within the multi same don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel